Okay, so today we are going to take off or replace the shocks on a 2008 to 2016 Traverse Acadia Buick Enclave. So, 22 mil lug nuts. You might have caps over yours you gotta take off first. But, well, Hit the tire and get it off. This will expose our shock. So, shock is held up by one nut and bush into the lower control arm. So, it looks like a 22 mil or a 21, and then a 18 to a 15 and an 18. Okay, so we're an 18 and a 15 <clears throat> on the upper mount. So we're going to get this one loosened up. Okay, make sure that does rotate. So we're just gonna start removing the, uh, the strut a little bit, or the shock. So most likely the tension on it will cause it to unthread until we can get a wrench behind it and then we'll do it a lot easier. Yep. So I just wanna kinda remove it like that. Okay, so before we take that all the way out, I want to lower, remove the lower one. So the lower bolt down here is a 21. Okay. okay, so now we're actually going to run this back in because it's uh, usually so supposed to separate um, but it's gonna be stubborn so we're gonna remove the upper wow look at that just roasted That's the upper bolt out, so now we can should be able to pry outward. But again, this is just a just a stubborn thing here. Okay. So there's our crusty shock that has seen way better days and our bushing is just fried. This bushing totally shot. Okay, so we're going to install our new shock. Make sure that the bottom has this rounded edge facing towards the control arm. That's the centering point. So first we're going to put uh, this in there. Put our lower bolt back in. And we need to get this risen up. So okay, so we've raised you know the bar here. Are we? Oh, sorry, give you some light. So we've raised up the suspension so that these bushings are not going to be ripped on when we set it on the ground. You want to beat them just about like a little bit before ride height have some load on them. So we've tightened our bracket back down to fit the, this nut. So we're going to thread that one back on. Make sure that washer and nut, uh, or washer and the nut are back on this bolt. So we're gonna tighten these ones up right now. All 
right. It has your shock installed. So now we're gonna jack it back up, remove the jack stand, put the wheel back on, and it is done. Back on the ground and torque your wheels to 140 foot-pounds and you're good to go.